This video is brought to you by the new Trucker's Handbook. It's an essential guide for new truck drivers. If you're learning to drive a truck or thinking about it, you need to get this book. It's not too thick, packed full of information. Links in the description below. In Good morning, everybody. Daylight. Time is five o'clock in the morning and it is starting to get light. Ah. Parked up here in Leicester last night, ready for a collection in the morning. Don't mind me. Uh, the collection's six bucks in for six a.m. Well, I'm gonna try and turn up slightly early and see if they'll let me in. You never know. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Up there, ready to grab. Uh, what's GoPro head cam? Put that there, also ready to grab. Don't need them. Ah, that's what I was looking for before the floor wipes. Built some tea last night. Well, I wiped it up with the um, with a paper towel, I'm making sure it's not sticky now. That'll do. Where's my rubbish bag gone? There, the, the, my rubbish bag is the floor for now. So the lighting in this unit is just ridiculous. Every oh, come on. You have to whack it, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's not working right now because it's because. Uh, just said it'll work when you whack it. Sun's law. Uh, right, what do we need to do? Paperwork's all done. I need to go do a daily check and uh... So if you're wondering why there's a giant iPad on the dash, I just wanted to see uh if that case it's in, it's allowing the GPS signal because I don't think it is. It's not even moving. So, uh, useless. At the end of the I'm just going to leave it on and see if it gets if it gets glimpses of the GPS. Then I know it's got definitely that case. Turn right. Turn right onto Slater Street. Oh. Then turn right onto Frog Island. The, the screen's not updated on it, but the voice is. I'll have to try it without that case, then, won't I? So we've got to go into uh, 
14, which is down here. Dropping wash 11. Drop this off where he's he's got the trail I want. <laughs> so we're gonna go down here, turn around, and uh, drop this one off. Well, the paperwork should be in it. So all I've got to do is drop and uh, pick up. And go. That's that one dropped. Let's move over to the next one. What are you going up for? Do you even press nothing? Thanks for wasting my air truck. Stupid truck. Why are the big bulb? Why are you making crap trucks? Why are you even making trucks? Volvo, why are you making it for him? Anyway. She's hooked. She's definitely hooked. Let's on hazard on. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's like factory brand new factory. Hooked, she's hooked. Got some nice greenery on the catwalk. That's factory as well. 4.722 meters. 
that's a bit shorter than the other one so uh, we'll leave them alone we'll leave the height markers alone because it really makes no difference Nizzle dizzle in this receptacle. We'll have that one just in case it gets foggy. And we'll have this one so people can see what the hell we're doing. Ooh, we have lights. from yesterday. Yep. Meant to do that. Strapped down as well, did you? Come on, go. Yeah, you did it. And kept my fingers. Lousy. Where's my straps? Where are my straps? Should we, uh, should we go? I think we go. Oh. I'm not sure we saw them, but that guy drove past in the truck just then. Not that way, the other way. It looks like the guy from, uh, can't pay while taking away. Right, so this is actually going back to my depot, so... So I'm not sure what I'm doing after it drops off of the depot. Wow. What an absolute... I could be starting to pull out then, knowing that other cars go past and he just comes along and plows into the side of it. Then it would have run that guy over. I'm not sure if the camera pit out then. There's a car going past and another one hammering past that white Mercedes hammering past it. Here's a tip for you. If you're in one of the most trucks actually, and the window doesn't quite close this almost always works but not every time so if you open the left window because this one won't go up anymore then open the right window give it a moment so the pressure in the cab is the same as outside then close your right one and then close your left one and then it's closed weird i know but it works it works look at this look at that door wedge Back once again like the Renegade Master. Blah 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 blah. Blah words. 
Right, let's go drop this off, find out what we've got next. There's a space down there. Bit parked a bit. Bit pissed that, innit? Smart cam. That wonky trailer, there it is. See the wonky trailer now. I need to come over that way a little bit. And straight up. Well, I'm going to be straight to the trailer on the right. The trailer on the left is still going to be wonky. Oh, a bit chilly now. Mm -hmm. So, on the hook in a trailer, it's pretty easy. The hole needs to get fixed, I can report that. Start off with brakes, then the legs. Sometimes the brakes aren't there, sometimes at the back, sometimes on the other side, sometimes at the front. resistance now I normally go another half turn so some trucks don't like that though and you'll find if you can't pull a pin it's because the legs are a little bit too high you can either drop it back down a bit or put the unit in reverse and just bang it back a little bit with a brake on well with the trailer brake on all right just get the airlines I'm reconnecting, so I'm just putting them out of the way. Power line, same again, just put it out of the way. Auxiliary power line, out of the way. ABS cable, can go in that slot. Mid air line. Uh, I can go there as well. This is the TIR cord, so I thought I'd be knackered on this one. Pull that through there, it goes through all the all of these clips to help you secure the trailer. Guys, I'm dead happy today, don't I? Not. 
Still bars. <laughs> God, this way I could have gone back. Never mind. Yeah, so sometimes if you've if you pull the legs a bit too high, some trucks don't like it. And no matter what you do, you can't pull a pin. You just go up to that point. I just got way up to the point of pulling the pin, and then you just uh, put the unit in reverse and forward, jab it forward backwards a little bit. It'll, it'll come off. And I'll drop the air out of it. Right, let's get it rocked up. Tag axle to finish dropping properly. That's 80 bar, one of them. Lights work, marker lights work, registration plate light works. Nothing's hanging off the bumpers. down over there. I'll see what that is in a second. Let's see what we've got. You are joking me. Double stacked compost with no straps on it. Please tell me it's got more than just internals on. I can't get up there to see. <laughs> They're not supposed to be this far back, you're supposed to have a step. So you see if the, if the straps are not you can probably see better nope not strapped guess what I'm doing now let's go to a hardware store workshop Right, this is how we uh, strap a load. I've got to finish off doing the other side, the checking the other side of the trailer. Check what that wire is hanging down. So whoever picked this up from Ireland, it wasn't a maxi driver who picked it up. Everything gonna fall out again. All left all on the other side, didn't it? So whoever picked this up from Ireland, the subcontractor, just thought it'd be safe to put internals on, even though it's going on a boat. Only going halfway across the country. Don't you 
Do you hear that noise? That's the sound of somebody who couldn't be bothered to wind the legs up and park the trailer. He obviously wants one of these trailers here. He just moved that. It's dragging the legs. To that. Some, people, some people put this in and think it looks like it's strapped from the back. Useless. Right, let's show you how to use a ratchet strap for those who are wanting to know. Right, first of all, normally I use these once you get past the neck. That GoPro out of camera, out of memory. Let's get past the neck. You've got you've got the, the ones on the side, but you can't get to them if there's pallets on it. So if it comes over with the uh, stripes down the top, that's the side you put in. So if the hook wants to face away from you because that's got a hook underneath there. Could be like sometimes you pick it up like that and you're like, okay, I'll put it in. And stop twisting around your annoying thing so basically you want to get this through that so if it's not in the right place just move it put it through pull it out see and the other, the other end on the other end of this is hooked but it might not it might come off so let's give it a quick test it's come off so what i'll do with that is i'll leave it and come back to it I'll try this one. Ready? That's hooked. 
So I'm gonna keep some tension on that now. And the stripes are down on this, so that's the way I'll put it in the ratchet. So hook away from you. Through the ratchet. Hook it round. Pull it up. And then you just pull that pull that to release the ratchet. So you can free free move it. But you just want to get out of the lock position and then you push up. It's a bit stiff coming back down. You probably need grease on it, but you can just pull that in and move them down manually. Lens tight enough. It's tight enough when you say to yourself, hmm, that's never going to go anywhere. Right, the reason I left that is because sometimes you get multiple ones doing the same thing where the hook just rides up like this because it's you can't get into the proper hook which is down there. So if I pull that sharply, that should stay still. And it stay still, good. So same again with this one. Oops. Hook it under, keep tension on it. What I normally do is once I've got the tension on it is I'll pull it up there and I'll put my fingers down holding this so they don't get trapped. But it keeps the tension on it and once it starts going you, you can let go. As it, them internals have been useless. If you used to go around the corner too fast, whatever, swerve for something, these are coming out the curtain. They ain't stopping it. This is a load bearing curtain. But this can only do so much. Oh, the GoPro is full. Better put that away before I forget. So we'll see how long this is taking us when we get back in the truck. curtain because it's I mean you've seen it once mind you we do get new uh, new subscribers all the time asking questions that have previously been covered which is perfectly fine I'm quite happy to answer, answer them so for that reason I will be doing or may have already done by the time you see this one a, a live stream well, just Q&A's Oh, it's the uh, it's the ignorant driver. It's the one that you flash and wave to. It's a subcontract, so it's the one you flash and wave to, and he just ignores you. There's a uh, a couple of subbies that ignore you. I mean, I just flash because I see the maxi trailer. And there's a few subbies that flash you before you even see them. Some of them are nice. Some of them are. Uh, some of my typical truck net drivers. Oh, which I've had quite a lot come from over there recently. So, uh, thanks for the views, you lovely truck net people. 
If you don't know what truck that is, don't bother with it. It's a place for old bitter drivers to butt moan um, <coughs> slate other drivers and uh, generally take uh, take the mick out of you basically. Stay a bit here now, looks a mess. It's not that bad. Right. Bit of overspeed there. So one hour. It's taken one hour to strap that down. So now we'll go and take it for delivery. Everybody feels the way I do about you now. So I'm an hour early. We'll see what happens. Apparently, this is the wrong entrance. Definitely sure it says uh, HGV on it. Ah, that looks better. More trucks. Well, there's a little sign just there. It says, "Remain in vehicle and wait for barrier to raise. All drivers must report to gate health security." No deliveries will be allowed on site until 30 minutes prior to the booking time. Which means they could say to me, go away. Well, I've got my uh, place to go and park. Top of the hill, turn left, just wait there, she said. Compost. Just wait for this chap here to finish up, mate. Yeah. All right, can I uh, pull straps now? Yeah. Yeah, it isn't. I'll go slow. Well, I'll just give that driver a hand. I've been done for a while now. But uh, I give her a hand because uh, it's a warm day and why not? <laughs> so he had the same stuff as me. <coughs> Apparently he was running late, but uh, it didn't make no difference because he still had to wait for me to finish. Oh, it's a 20. Unusual for uh, places like this to be a 20. That sun is bright. Just took my shades off and now I can't see. Uh, I, I may have been Don, Doncaster, Donny, uh, where was it before? Wakefield, now I'm in Doncaster, I've just got a post on the face, uh, Road Legends Facebook asking where I am, someone said Amazon because I can see the Amazon in the trucks in the background. Close enough. <laughs> uh, I probably won't.
don't get loads of this until about four o'clock. So it's only over there. Might as well go over there and see uh see the load me before, you never know, they might start picking it sooner. Again, that's dropped down though. It's anywhere to park up. We're going to Liverpool. It's anywhere to park up. I'll, I'll figure somewhere on route. Let's go. See these lay by here with all these cars in it? See, the council have closed the car park so you can't go in there. All these idiots. That's, that's one lay-by, there's another lay-by going past with about 30 cars in it. Thank you, selfish people. That's the truck driver's uh, parking spaces. That's where we park up at night. Because you complain that we park near your city, your road, whatever. Well, we nearly lost that. Um, yeah, and you're coming out into the countryside and taking our space. Thanks for that. It's just swell. Some more here. Now, believe it or not, <clears throat> our truck has been over the side of this here, just a bit further behind me. I don't know, was it around about around here actually? And it just flopped onto its side and didn't slide down the hill, which was rather lucky for the driver. Nice to see uh, everyone's parking in the areas where be parked. Ah ha! Fun's getting done. <laughs> ah, what a shame. <laughs> See, these all these laybys are closed up here to stop people coming up here, and uh, you know, I know, I know, places like this are out of the way. But the rules are. It said, look at that. All they, this is there as well. On there. All closed, I'll just park there. What a shame that we're going to get a ticket or get done. So, this lake here, the reservoir, sorry, is, is empty compared to what it normally is. Um, um, it's normally right up to the tree line, actually, or just below this bridge, like just above, up, just over there, just like three feet away from the, the road. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. And the reason it's drained is because uh, the dam was breaking a few months back. The drain, the drain, most of it. It was like, in fact they drained all of it at one point but yeah it now comes up just below this wall if you can hear a buzzing noise the camera is on the laptop and the laptop is processing a video that I said I couldn't be bothered to do but I'm doing it I'm doing it it's the last one of the footage that I had left from last week but um, it's time for dinner for me. I'm using this as a tray. This is the fridge I'm opening here, if you can't see that. My Mercedes-Benz cutlery box. Where am I? There we are. That's all wipes for afterwards to uh, keep them clean. So, what I've got for my tea, isn't it dark in here? Sorry, it's what it is. I'll turn that off. What I've got for my tea, 
now it'll look a bit scruffy because it's been in the fridge and the top of the uh, the foil tray has got a bit bleh. but uh, anyway what I've got is ow ow I put it in longer than normal because I, I some, sometimes this is made with uh, well my mum makes it for me thanks mummy uh, sometimes she makes it with corn mints so it doesn't matter if it's heated up or not so I've been, it's been in there quite a lot longer than I normally keep it in there and it's red hot that's why I've got it on that metal tray so I'm going to pull out my plate it's, it's cottage pie is it cottage pie? it's cottage pie yeah this is, gonna go, this is where it goes everywhere it's kind of a uh, Plunk it out. Could do a bit of gravy, but I didn't bring any with me. So oops. she made this at home. Obviously, it's upside down. Mashes now on the bottom, but it is what it is. We should put peas and carrots in there as well. Good. So I'm going to mash this about to let it cool a bit and to uh, bring the mash to the top. Now the reason I put it in those foil lids, foil trays. If you cook mash in those with the lid on in these little ovens, uh, all the uh, all the moisture in it stays in. Now, some of you will be looking at that saying that looks disgusting. It's only because I've just mashed it around. It looks like dog food now. <laughs> um, that's hot. Oh, that's definitely hot. So, uh, my Burger King salt. A bit of that, and that's my tea. <clears throat> that shelf that will be binned, but then I use this as a this is a shelf out of this oven. So then I turn that upside down, and that's my little tray. Uh, put my knife there. Uh, my Dettol wipes. Uh, some salt and pepper in there. Uh, so that yeah, that's my tea basically, uh, homemade. Sometimes I'll make gravy in and chuck the gravy on there. Dead easy to make gravy. If you can't make gravy, you shouldn't even be driving a truck. I know some of you just said you can't make gravy, but it's all right, we'll let you off. If you want to, go away. If you want to know where I got this from, I got this actually from a truck stop. Um, Jenko bought one. He said it was fantastic, so I bought one and I love it. Jenko's now got something different, which I do know about, um, but I prefer this at the moment. I can do jacket potatoes and all sorts in there. I think it's by truck, truck mate. I'm pretty sure it's truck mate. 24, 24 volts, 24 slash 12. Wouldn't use it on 12, useless. Uh, don't use it with the engine running, make sure the engine's off. Um, if you want to charge your batteries, do it after you've unplugged it. Uh, so yeah, well, in fact it says on it, all, all ride, sorry, it's all ride. I think this is the larger one, they do nine litre and a 14 litre. I think this is the 14 litre. Comes with two shelves. Don't go for the small one if you've if you want to cook more than one thing at once. It'll fit two mini pizza things, you know, quid ones. It'll fit two of those side by side on a shelf. So uh, yeah. Hot. Hot. Right. Thank you very much for watching this video. Go away. Where are all these things coming from? Oh, I've got bread as well. I could make a butty. That's a lot though. So I'll, I'll see how I go with that first. Right, see you in the next one. This is weird. Fear of a limb. We'll meet some sunny day. I don't know where it's blasting from. It's for ye day. I just wasn't expecting to hear beer in before I go to bed. Meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. <clears throat> Not for that.